so when we look at scripture, where uh, I believe is the model for how we make that transition, uh, Moses and Aaron are a good example of this. In Numbers 33, 38 says, Then Aaron the priest went up to Mount Horeb at the command of the Lord and died there. And so essentially, you know, God was like, hey, today's the day. <laughs> uh, say your goodbyes, climb the mountain. Okay, so he had to be in pretty good health. Yeah, uh, exactly. You know, it wasn't like there was this big decline. Uh, climb the mountain and you're going to make your transition. And then so interesting to me uh, in Deuteronomy where it says actually that the Lord buried Moses. Uh, wow, that would be the best funeral, <laughs> right? you know, um, that you could have. And so just understanding to me, these are to me models of what it can look like. Um, right. You know, uh, it's even so I, I just had my probably my closest uncle. Yeah. Um, that I, you know, growing up, uh, my, my cousin and I, we were the best friends and, and anyway, his, his dad just passed away day before yesterday. And, uh, so it caused me to think a little bit about, you know, Hey, I, you know, I'm going to be working toward immortality, but I am not going to make that the thing. I'm simply moving toward it as father leads me toward that. I'm not going to be, you know, just striving to get that immortality because guess what? Okay, here's the bottom line. We are all immortal. There, you know, you can't even lose that. You are immortal. <laughs> you know, it's just, we get so hung up on this transition, this thing called death of this body. Uh, and anyway, I'm getting ready to go off on something. I better <laughs> back up and, and get back with the program here. Well, so. and part of that too is um, if our scroll is complete, why would we want to stay longer here on this earth? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, for family. It's a very good point. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, just understanding, I want to be here for as long as the Lord yeah. has me. And in that tr transition, I'm okay with that. It's good. So here's a couple of verses for you that we're going to, Dean is going to read because she's got better eyes than I do. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> right. But this is again from 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 57. <clears throat> Listen, now I will tell you a divine mystery. Not all of us will die, but we will all be transformed. It will happen in an instant in the twinkling of his eye. For when the last trumpet sounded, the dead will come back to life. We will be indestructible and we will be transformed. For we will discard our mortal clothes and slip into a body that is imperishable. Uh, what is mortal now will be exchanged for immortality. And when that which is mortal puts on immortality and what was uh, exchanged, what now decays, uh, is exchanged for what will never decay. When the scripture will be fulfilled, which says death is swallowed up by a triumphant victory. So death, tell me, where is your sting? Tell me death, where is your victory? It is sin that gives death its sting and the law gives sin its power. But we thank God for giving us the victory as conquerors through the, our Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed one. Wow. It's powerful. It is powerful. Uh, and again, it just goes back to that point that we will all be transformed. Yeah. So there's not one person who's ever lived that's not going to be transfigured and transformed and saved. <laughs> you know, so... Uh, again, we, you know, just if you missed last week, I encourage you to go back and listen to that. We looked at a lot of verses about does God plan to save everyone? And there are tons of verses that indicate very clearly that he is. So, you know, this is just another verse. It, it becomes more about how are we going to be saved? Not the how does it do we get saved? But when we're saved, how do we look on the other side? <laughs> uh, there may be some, as I've mentioned, that do not go through that sleep. They do not die. This body does not die. In other words, they, they're, they're not checking out of this body for a, a given amount of time, but rather it will be transfigured in the blinking of an eye. But it's beautiful to understand that we all, all will be transformed and transfigured. So we're all immortal. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, and whether or not, you know, 
if you're fearing death, it, that would definitely be one of those things where through an intimate time with the father, just hanging with him and asking him and talking to him about it, I would highly suggest you do that. Ask father about it. And if you're fearing it, ask him, why do you fear it? Because honestly, we should have no fear of it. It's simply the, the passing on of us into the next phase of whatever that is, or going back to where we were before. And yet, because of things that we've been programmed with and things that we've been taught, we have a fear of it for the most part. And we just need to undo that. We really just need to focus on how do we make this transition in an honorable and a, you know, I've always said, you know, if there's a funeral, which I'm even starting to question where there would, there would be a funeral or not for me, it's like, I'm moving on. Have a party. If you're going to do something, have a party and celebrate for crying out loud, because I'm, I'm celebrating. I guarantee you that. <laughs> so